episode 1560 of No BS Job Search Advice Radio. I'm your host, Jeff Altman, the Big Game Hunter, and welcome. I'm going to do a stupid interview show with some of the funny things that people say on interviews. This came from the Reader's Digest. I just thought you'd get a laugh today. Hope you enjoy it. Hope you have a great day. And with that, let's get going. And I stumbled into this article that the Reader's Digest uh, published, and it has some hysterical ones. So I thought I would share the, share them and um, you know credit Reader's Digest for this. I, I think it's a very funny piece. So the first one is one person took the edge off by having a beer before walking into the reception. So uh, as someone says, I swear this is true. Someone threw his beer can in the outside trash can before coming into the reception area. Probably not a smart idea, you know? Another person said, uh, reported that a guy once talked during his interview about how an affair cost him his previous job. Probably a little too much information. Now this is a classic. This firm asks prospective job applicants to fill out a questionnaire. There's a line that says, choose one word to summarize your strongest professional attribute. One person wrote, I'm very good at following instructions. Remember, one word, I'm very good at following instructions. Okay, another one. Someone blew their nose and lined up to use tissues on the table in front of the interviewer. Not a smart thing to do. Um, Another person misunderstood the work, and in this case, what they did was they were applying for a customer service job, and when asked what uh, he might not like about the job, he said, dealing with people. Obviously, in customer service, that's all you're doing. So another person um, you know, was being interviewed, and he reported that um, he came with a friend, and the friend you know, wound up sticking their head in the door and asking, how much longer? <laughs> Another uh, instance reported on was, you know, about the job hunter who asked, yeah, tell me about the business. Like, you've never heard of the internet, you can look it up. Another person listed their prison time as a job. And there was an exotic dancer who called herself a customer service representative. You know, it's not exactly a smart move. One person reported that someone ate all the candy from the candy bowl while trying to answer questions. So, yes, they knew it was this person. It was obvious. A person came to an interview. Uh, well, they didn't come to the interview. They sent, uh, this guy sent his sister to interview in his place. Another didn't just do a handshake at the end of the interview. They hugged the interviewer. One person had their prepaid Chinese food, including a fortune cookie with his name and phone number on it. Not smart. Another one put up posters of himself in the company parking lot. This is amazing stuff. One person uh, came to an interview in a cat suit. An applicant announced his candidacy with a singing telegram. Then there was the person who rented a billboard with the, which the hiring manager could see from his office listing his qualifications. One person uh, indicated that his availability was limited because Friday, Saturday, and Sunday was his drinking time. One person explained the arrest by stating, we stole a pig, but it was a really small pig. So, uh, one person had, and an, well, I won't share my own story. I've, I've done that in a previous video, but this one you know, had a spelling error. They didn't spell check the resume, so they they wrote that advertising is a tough business, which may be why one prospective ad man wrote a cover letter boasting, "I'm getting I'm getting to my goal slowly but surely," instead of surely. Then there was the weird person who came in with their cockatoo on the shoulder. Another one forgot to wear dark socks with his suit to the interview, so he covered, colored his ankles with a black felt-tip marker. Only men would do that. 
Then there was the person who started clipping her fingernails while they were speaking. The interviewer, uh, you know, if they were interviewing someone who took a cell phone call and asked me to leave their office while they talked. So the candidates on the phone, they asked the interviewer who's in their office to leave. The candidate who was uh, who told the interviewer he was fired from his last job for beating up his boss. The candidate said that he that by crossing the Maryland state line he was in violation of his probation, but felt the interviewer was worth risking jail time. Then there was the people person, not the numbers person, uh, in the interview for the accounting position. And this is the last one for today. I can't I complain that she was hot. She then said, excuse me, and re removed her socks and then placed them on the interviewer's desk and then continued like everything was okay. You know, when you think that corporate or third-party recruiters are obnoxious or insane, I must in all honesty tell you, I had this experience when I did recruiting of people who just did ridiculous things and tried to treat them like they were completely normal. So understand the other side of this, and I'll just simply say, don't clip your fingernails during an interview. So that's today's show. I hope you found it helpful, and if you did, here are a few more ways to get more from me. First of all, visit my website, which is TheBigGameHunter.us. I have more than 6,000 blog posts there that you can watch, listen to, or read that will help you find your next job. If you want the best of my advice, join JobSearchCoachingHQ.com, where I've curated information with a focus on interviewing. If you decide to take the lifetime membership at the site, it's $299 currently, but that's the price of a coaching session or an hour of coaching from me, and I'll be giving that to you if you join with a lifetime membership. Have a few questions? Contact me through the Magnify app for iOS or PrestoExperts.com where you can call me. Schedule a specific time with me through chat on Magnify or by connecting with me on LinkedIn at linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash the big game hunter. Once we're connected on LinkedIn, you can message me about coaching you, scheduling in time for Magnify or Presto experts, speak with me about a resume or LinkedIn profile critique, help you with a salary negotiation or my trusted advisor services, and much, much more. Like you, I don't work for free. I do charge for what I do. You can take my classes on Skillshare and become a premium member using the link in the show notes and receive two months for free instead of just the one that the site offers. Skillshare offers thousands and thousands of courses, not just simply mine, on a host of different subjects that can help you in many different ways. Lastly, join my group on Facebook called Career Angles. It's free to the first 250 people who join and is focused on helping you do better at work. Information is shared daily and we're attempting to build a supportive group there. Ask to join. I'm not letting recruiters in at this point. So I'll be back tomorrow with more. And in the meantime, I hope you have a great day. Be great.